this week I'm doing a tutorial inspired by this week's challenge on RuPaul's Drag Race, the black and white realness. So basically this was inspired by Detox's look at the season five reunion where she came out in black and white makeup and she looked like an old screen movie star. And when I saw that they made it a runway challenge this week, I was so excited and I couldn't wait to film a tutorial for you this week. So yeah, without any further ado, if you would like to know how to get this black and white gray realness makeup look, then keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do normally is moisturize and prime, but because we're gonna work with a white base, you want this to be as opaque as possible. So I'm actually gonna leave my skin as it is. I still have a little bit of moisture from last Last night when I applied all my moisturizers but other than that I'm not gonna apply anything else and just go straight in with the product so I'm just gonna go in straight with my white Krylon TV paint stick and just all over and then buff it in with a beauty blender you know nice and natural to go grocery shopping And especially with this, you wanna keep the most coverage out of your product because you do not want any skin color coming through. Come through skin color. So with this especially, you wanna tap that skin up and down, tap that skin. Don't drag the color around, just tap it in. Now we're gonna double it up underneath the eyes to get rid of any dark circles, even though we're gray. And now it's time to bake and set that all with powder and I'm gonna use my Ben Nye Super White. And I'm just gonna set my entire face using that same powder. And you wanna set, especially because once we're gonna contour and bring in depth with the powders, you want the base underneath to be super powdered so it blends easier. All right, I'm quickly gonna fill in my brows in a, of course, gray dark color. All right, brows done, time to work on the eyes. I'm gonna go in as a base with the Tarte Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner in white. And this stuff is amazing and it will truly hold up to anything. I'm just gonna smear this on as my base today. And then with my Beauty Blender, I like to smooth it out a little. And by little, I mean a lot. And with my Sephora eyeshadow, the white Sephora eyeshadow in Let It Snow, I'm just gonna set everything from crease to brow bone area to help blending later on. And trust me, we need this stuff. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 12Z palette. I'm gonna go in with this dark gray color right here. And with this, we're gonna cut the crease. Same palette, this lighter gray color right here to buff it out. Same color, a little bit more of the diffuse brush. Keep on blending. And then with the black, we're really gonna go in and define. Okay, now it's time for the lid color. I'm gonna take this Danessa Merrick's Metals Pigment in Supreme, get your silver on. And as a base, I'm first gonna lay down the Urban Decay Bondage Weightless Makeup Adhesive. Okay, can we just talk about this pigment for a hot minute? Oh my God. Goodness, it looks like liquid silver on my lids. Ugh. All right, time for some thick ass liner. And by 
powder wave right now I'm using the black liquid liner by Inglot which I'm really liking so far. Okay, lower lash line, I'm now gonna go in with the Carity Eyeshadow in Wrath. I'm mainly focusing on the outer corner for now. And then we're gonna pull a Miss Fame and create a new inner corner. And with the black, smudging it out. All right, all I'm gonna do now to quickly finish this eye look off is apply some mascara and false lashes and don't hold back on the drama. So my first pair is gonna be the Elcon Lashes in number 300 and I have them here already and just plop them on. Bam. And like I said, do not hold back on that drama. So I have a pair of 301s here and I'm gonna cut them in half and place one half on the outer half of my eye. Okay, so I think the inner half of the 301 looks better with this look. And I cut about six lash strokes in. All right, let's place it on that outer corner. Really elevated really place it on top of that eyeliner. Not as much follow your natural lashes, just pop it on that liner and kind of tilt it into the direction of that liner to get a nice elongated eye. A little bit of mascara on the bottom. Both eyes done, now it's time for the fun part, the contouring and highlighting, also all in gray. So I'm gonna contour using this color from that same Morphe palette, and remember to go very, very softly with this one. If you use a little bit too much of the powder, it quickly becomes patchy and ugly, so go soft, gentle, and take your time. This is where all the life comes back into that face and where we get to have fun by bringing back all that structure. And the brush I'm using is by Cosette. This is the S130 brush. And if you're not happy with the blending, take your brush that you used to set your foundation with, with the super white powder. And with it, kind of tap at the edges and blend everything nice and smooth and you're good to go. A little bit around the hairline, just bring in back the depth. And again, you can always go back in with a brush that still has the super white powder in it and make it smooth. And I'm also super, super lightly gonna do my nose. And now we may be black and white, but we still want to glow as if we were a color TV. Does anyone know what I mean? I just want to glow and I want everyone to see it. So I'm going to go in with Pearl by Becca because this is white. And just go crazy. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, mother. We have arrived. This glow right here tells other gray bitches out there, don't mess with me. My glow is stronger than yours. Okay, now it's time for the lips, and I'm gonna go in with a matte black lip paint, just to give it such a nice statement and to make it dark. So I'm gonna go in with the Colored Rain Matte Lip Paint in 2 a.m. How crazy does this look? <laughs> and going over top with Jeffree Star's Weirdo because this is probably the blackest liquid lipstick I've ever tried. 
And that guys concludes this RuPaul's Drag Race inspired black and white makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box below or my blog at NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you so much for watching again, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.